Up to a story we've been tracking for months, some aging Cranston public schools in desperate need of repairs. As we first told you back in August, an initial report detailed $189 million needed in repairs. Tonight, school officials will unveil their master plan for the improvements. Iowa News News reporter Steph Machado is live in Cranston with what the school superintendent is saying ahead of tonight's meeting. Steph? Well, Shannon, last week, Rhode Island voters approved a $250 million school buildings bond. A lot of school districts will be vying for that money. Tonight, Cranston plans to reveal their plan for the next five years to renovate several schools, even build a new school, but they also want to consolidate and close two elementary schools. At Eden Park Elementary School, built in 1951, Superintendent Janine Nottamassi says the classrooms, the hallways, even the bathrooms are outdated. The average age is 63 years old of our buildings, and with that comes major problems. Um, roofing, structural deficiencies, um, ADA compliance. Part of the school department's new five-year master plan includes renovations at this school, including getting rid of hallways altogether and making learning space more flexible. We're really trying to be efficient with our plans and make sure every piece of landscape is used for education. Some of those aging school buildings like Cranston High School West will be renovated under this plan and the school department is proposing to close two elementary schools, Barrows and Waterman. Nottamassey says the buildings are old and consolidation will allow them to focus limited funds on renovating and building other schools. Some of the buildings are just beyond their usefulness anymore. Nottamassey says it could take decades to get all of Cranston's school buildings updated, but this is the first step. It's taken this long for them to get this way, so it's going to take a long time for us to fix them. And parents at Barrow School have already been notified that the plan is to clo close that school this spring. If Waterman School's closure is approved, that would happen a few years down the line. All of this is going to be detailed at a 6 o'clock meeting at the Cranston High School West Library. Live in Cranston, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.